the Jimi Hendrix experience is over. The acid rock musician died today in a London hospital, apparently from an overdose of drugs. The tragic death of actor Philip Seymour Hoffman, a performer who was known for his extraordinary range, he was also known for his honesty about the struggles he faced away from the public eye. Tonight, investigators at his home after what they believe was a heroin overdose. And I'm telling you, it, the combination of chemicals inside her body uh, did make for a perfect storm when she was found in the bathtub. And the coroner de did determine the cause of death to be, quote, drowning and the effects of atherosclerotic heart disease plus cocaine use. He the autopsy performed today on the body of actor River Phoenix did not turn up the cause of death according to the county coroner's office. Phoenix collapsed outside a nightclub early Sunday morning but a paramedic on the scene told NBC News that the case appeared to be consistent as he put it with cocaine overdose. 31 year old Corey Monteith died in his hotel here this weekend from the very drugs he had been battling for so much of his adult life. If you had the chance to have all your troubles melt away to feel intense pleasure, to not feel stress or anger, to be happy, would you take it? More than 22 million Americans take this chance, and out of these 22 million people, 100 of them end up dead. 100 of them end up dead every day. Should I name a few for you? Philip Seymour Hoffman, Corey Monteith, River Phoenix, Jimi Hendrix, Whitney Houston. Do you know what all these celebrities had in common? They all died from a drug overdose. Drugs such as heroin, ecstasy, LSD, and methamphetamine are all used to give the user pleasure. But do you know what they do to you? They mimic natural chemicals in your body in order to release serotonin and dopamine into your brain to make you feel happy. But once you reach that high, once you get that euphoria, it's impossible to reach it again. Unless you use more. Addicts use double, triple, quadruple the normal amount of drugs than what is safe in order to reach that high. And once you have drained all your body of the dopamine, once you have reached that euphoria, you become severely depressed and you are forced to use the only thing that brings you pleasure anymore, drugs. And you might say you can spot an addict on the street. 83% of 46,000 8th, 10th, and 12th graders are on illicit drugs. And it all started with one choice, one choice that will risk their lives, one choice to be rebellious, to be free, to try and be happy. So, what choice are you going to make?